If you're a cable television subscriber or a satellite subscriber, then the Slingbox 500 is an awesome device for you. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this right here and then I'm gonna talk about some of the other features uh, that you can expect. But basically what this allows you to do is to watch your cable television signal via you know, a, a web browser, you can watch it via an iPad, an iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever you want. It's compatible with full high definition, works with DVR, set top boxes. Like I said, you can watch it anywhere at home on vacation, and it all works wirelessly with this version, the Slingbox 500. So that's really the, the big feature here. It has HDMI support, and it works wirelessly. As you can see here, the picture has all the devices there, your MacBook, your iPad, and your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open the box here, the Slingbox 500. And there is the device front and center. Got a little plastic piece right here on top with the little styrofoam. All right, and there's the device. Um, it's an interesting feel, interesting design, that's for sure. Uh, you're not gonna be able to sit anything on top of this because of the curved design. Um, it's plastic. I mean, it's not exactly the best feeling device in the world, but hey, it's gonna be tucked away in your entertainment center or wherever you put your all your equipment and it's probably not gonna be seen that much so I wouldn't really worry about it. All right, let's see what else is in the box here. Of course you have some instructions, HDMI cable, which is kind of a plus. <laughs> Most of these devices, they wanna skimp on cables, but uh, you can see here the Slingbox has a plethora of them. Here's some AV cables here. Here's a, some component cables. You have a remote control to set up the device. You'll need that. Of course, some batteries for the remote control. And you have an AC adapter for the device. I like this because it uh, has a little, little part here they can pull off. Let me see if I can get this off. So if you're working or if you're trying to hook it up in another region that takes different types of plugs, such as Europe or wherever you're traveling, you can use it there. And on this left-hand side, you have a um, looks like a Ethernet cable, a video cable, and a IR blaster. I probably won't need any of those because, of course, we're connecting wirelessly in the IR blaster. I don't need that in my setup, but just uh, nice to have those things there. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back in the box and let's examine the physical device again. Here, let's just try to set all this aside. Okay, put the power cable and the uh, component cable and the AV cable back up, along with instructions, HDMI, and a remote, and batteries. Okay, I think we got everything there. All right, so here is the uh, sling box, of course. On the back of it, you have power, reset, the IR, USB, network, HDMI in, HDMI out, video in and out, audio in and out, and your component in and out. That's pretty much it. And on the front of the device, you have uh, the status for power and network, and then there's a little Slingbox logo that lights up on the right-hand side. Uh, so let's try to get something we can compare this to. Let me grab my iPhone 5 over here. There's my iPhone 5. You can see it's about the same uh, width as the iPhone 5 is long. So that is the Slingbox 500 unboxing. Of course, it has the HDMI, it has the dual band Wi-Fi support, so that's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna have more coverage on this in the future. Stay tuned and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.